In the last video, we covered the definition, indications, and contraindications of the barrier mill investigation. In this video, we go a little bit further. We explore the type and volume of contrast media used, the equipment used, and the preparatory steps. Welcome back to EPS. I am Omotola. Here's a quick word from our creative partners. Welcome back. The contrast media used in a barium mill investigation is the same as that used in the barium swallow, the water insoluble barium sulfates. 70 to 150 milliliters of barium would do for a standalone barium mill examination, but when a follow through is being carried out, as much as 200 to 250 milliliters of barium might be required. Also, because most barium mill investigations are carried out using double contrast, a carbon dioxide producing substance will be required. Examples of carbon dioxide producing substances include a mixture of bicarbonate powder and citric acid. The double contrast exam has advantages such as improved visualization of the gastric mucosa. For equipment, we'll keep it plain and simple. Depending on availability and departmental protocols, a conventional radiography or a fluoroscopy unit may be used. For patient preparation, there are three important things you need to know. First, the patient should have no food or drink for at least five hours prior to the procedure. Also, smoking is known to speed up gastric motility, and it is thus advised that the patient avoid smoking prior to the investigation. Lastly, the patient must avoid taking any non-essential medications that may be radio-opaque. Examples include bismuth, a medication commonly used to treat heartburn. Next up, we wrap up the series on the barium meal. Remember to do these four things. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, share with your friends and follow us on Instagram.